Hello my magical light beings and welcome all to this video today. My name is Shalita, welcome to this channel. This channel is all about magical consciousness. We experience magic on this channel. And in today's video we're gonna have day 3 of 14 days with the Archangels. I'm so excited to see who comes out today. I did not get that much intuitive information for this one. But, actually I did, but <laughs> I will just start right off with uh, this video i'm so freaking excited so the first thing that came true yesterday night was that archangel raphael wanted to come true in some sort of way but i posted um a picture in my instagram story so i feel like maybe he d does not come come true today but maybe he does we will see what happens and as well that i got a message there were like a lot of messages already coming true when i woke up I heard blank canvas, so I guess or there are artists watching this or there are people that's starting over or like it's really the message of everything is possible, you can create your own reality, you have a blank canvas, use it and then I as well got the message of that I had to read a card out of the Starseed Oracle deck uh, baby steps because I heard the word action take action and I was like okay <laughs> I'm gonna read this card so that is something I will start off right now and then I will get into the archangels and the cards so let's read this action follow your intuition before it makes sense you're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling to start where you are and begin building in a consistent way so many people stop themselves from living a soul-led life because they are waiting to know the destination before taking the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. Our soul is always calling us every moment of every day. The way to find yourself living in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your soul's baby calls and whispers each and every day and to take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You are being encouraged to start small bite-sized, to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day, to break things down into achievable tasks. Time on Earth goes slower than, e than on other planets. This may cause frustration for starseeds, <laughs> who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout. If you resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. So remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. <laughs> you don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take the next step. What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? So that was already something that was coming out for this morning. So whatever you have in mind maybe these big ideas just take it step by step i know all about this um <laughs> if you're dreaming big you're like how the heck do i start off with this but just follow your intuition just do something if, even if it's so small like everything we do has so much significant significance yes yeah, significance so i'm gonna shake a card from one of the archangels and we will see what Archangel would love to come true today for a message? They really did not tell me a lot, so they really wanted to surprise me as well with this video today. So I'm freaking excited for that. Let's see. And it's actually so foggy, you cannot see at all what is like there. So that's as well, of course, um, baby steps. You know, you. You want to look at the whole staircase, but you don't know what's all on this staircase. You just have to take the first step on the staircase and then you can look to the other uh, step. But not like look all to the top because you cannot even see that probably. And then you're like, will I ever get there? I don't even know what's all on the stairs. What can I do about this? And yeah, that's really something that can happen. But just take it step by step. <laughs> So let's see what Archangel would love to come true this morning. What Archangel would love to come true this morning. Contemplation. 
what freaking she would love to come through today for a message. I'm done. Oh my freaking god. Okay. You guys, you have to see this. You have to freaking see this. The fuck. I cannot. I cannot. I can't. <laughs> Observed assumptions. Archangel Uriel. The fog. Nothing is permanent. Changes here. <laughs> I am shocked. That is crazy. Let me search Archangel Uriel on my phone like I did yesterday because then we know a little bit more what this Archangel is all about. But I am shocked. Fog. Fog. I will show you guys at the end of the video what I'm looking at right now because this is crazy. Okay. Uriel. Again, a feminine presence. So... Uriel illuminates our minds with information, ideas, epiphanies, and insights. Oh, no. <laughs> he reminds me of a wise old uncle in this way. That's funny that I said she. So I guess you could see it in both ways. He's a wonderful... He is wonderful to call upon whenever you need a solution, such as a business, such as at business meetings, when writing, while studying, or when taking a test. He will whisper correct and appropriate answers into your ear, which you will receive as words or thoughts that are suddenly downloaded into your mind. You can call upon Uriel to guide your intellectual pursuits. He works in tandem with the Archangel Zadkiel, I don't know how you say it, to help students excel on tests and in school. Color yellow, crystal or gemstone, amber. Wow. Okay, so I'm first of all shocked, but this is all about, I guess, the mind and uh, ideas. And I said at the beginning, if you're an artist, like a canvas, maybe that's like a message, but as well, Oh, I love that. Like you can <laughs> literally me saying to my own messages that I get in my mind. I love that. Yeah, literally. This is so cool. I thought about the blank canvas can be about that you can create anything you want. And I guess a lot of ideas will come to us and to all of you when you're watching this. This is like divinely guided for you that your ideas are coming to you. If you're at like a moment of that you don't know what to draw, for example, or you don't know what to write, you don't know what to answer on something, Archangel Uriel, you can call upon this Archangel to help you or guide you in this to maybe receive a new idea or receive downloads or receive certain information that you were missing in a project, in um, a conversation or whatever that might be. And it's so cool because nothing is permanent, change is here. So, that is as well, like, I'm coming back to this canvas the whole time, but as well as a canvas, you can always buy a new canvas. You're not stuck with this one. If you have painted one and you're like, I don't actually like this, you can just buy a new one and start all over. And, yeah. Oh, my God. We have to drink some tea today. Okay, I'm shocked that the fog came out. I am shocked. Okay, let's be shocked even more. Like, this is what I meant. Surprises goals change is here okay so let's see these envelopes hope oh, okay sometimes i don't know what to do with this okay, we will see i i'm like shaking them like this and then i would just see if one wants to jump out or literally i said jump out and then i bumped into my teeth so i guess elena if you're watching this elena vibrations my best friend, she says this message so many times. Uh, shit is gonna hit the fan, and that's really it. like maybe a message for someone. <laughs> like things can be coming in abrupt or like very sudden because a fog, for example, you don't know what's happening in a fog. You don't really like when a fog disappears, you then see clearly again, and then things can come out of nowhere. So that's really maybe a message. Let's do this one today. I'm excited. So let's see the messages from Archangel Uriel today. Let's see. Okay, we have again two tarot cards. I guess I've done that in every envelope. I don't even know anymore. But okay, let's see. 
totally forgot my crystals. How did I forget my crystals? That's crazy. <laughs> that is a good message. Like, maybe you forget about something, but Archangel Uriel, you can call upon that Archangel if you think that you are maybe uh, missing a certain thing in the information. Okay, we have... Wow, okay. <laughs> Number seven, the chariot. Archangel Metatron, so that Archangel is coming through as well. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Wow, so beautiful. And we have page of water. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. I freaking love this. So we have the chariot of action and we have the page of water and page of water. Oh my God. What did I say? What did I say? Sudden. The page of water, page of cups is that, uh, is a, <laughs> a person standing with a cup and out of nowhere this fish pops out. <laughs> that is so weird. I can't. <laughs> okay, let's read the chariot card. Okay. Congratulations! This card means you have successfully balanced a recently challenging situation. So if you've been recently going through a very challenging situation, you have completed the cycle there. <laughs> Your ability to see both sides, take action and make decisions has garnered, garnered you, you approval, respect and gratitude. So bask in the joy of what you have accomplished. Stay calm and grounded, grounded and be clear about what you're trying to achieve. It's important to show self-control, determination and the willingness to go the distance at this time. Exercise control firmly but kindly with other people. Additional meanings of this card. Self-discipline, uh, willpower, a great leap forward. That's what I meant with like, I bumped into this freaking, I said jump into it. And then I freaking bumped into my tea. That was crazy. A promotion or awards. Wow. So if you're watching this and you're like looking for maybe a promotion or anything with a matter. Wow. Travel. Um, modes of transportation. So, and that's so funny because at the beginning I actually wanted to say a lot of cars and trucks are driving by. So you maybe can hear this. And then I thought in my mind a lot of transportation. Like a lot of action is being made outside. So that's so cool. Um, you can call Archangel Metatron, uh, can increase your mo motivation and energy level so that you will accomplish your priorities. Metatron used a sacred ge ge geometric shape called Merkaba or Metatron's cube to warp time, which enables you to instantly, instantly manifest your dreams into reality. Wow, I'm shocked. Okay, let's do, let's read the page of water. A new person or emotion roosting situation <laughs> enters your life. It could be the start of a friendship or romance or the renewal of one from your past. So maybe you are, are trying to manifest a person or you're already in contact with someone. A current relationship may enter a new phase. It's important to discuss your feelings with those around you. Your intuition and psychic abilities may also be heightened during this time. Intuition. Again, the baby step. Listen to your intuition before it makes sense. People. So this is like the if the page of water could be a person. So for example, you have the chariot. This could le literally be a person uh, together. So the person could be very um, disciplined or like very uh, want to take a lot of action. But at the same time, this person is like very intuitive and sensitive or artistic or friend or this can be two people literally like the chariot is then maybe the masculine energy and then the page of water is more the feminine energy but it can be both sides um, a person who is gentle kind artistic and sometimes quiet understanding friendly introvert sim sympathetic romantic so additional meanings of this card a love letter i love that because archangel uriel said about writing so if you feel like you want to write something or maybe a love letter is coming to you or a certain letter uh, in whatever way that is imagination artistic endeavors important dreams so really focus upon as well your dream state maybe the, the dreams in your Dreams? I dreams in your sleep. <laughs> that is of course logical, but yeah. Okay, let's see these two cards. I have two cards from the Starseed Oracle deck we have. Wait, 
it's not yet the time things are being woven so i guess with the fog here it's like when the fog is here you better can just pause you can better just observe uh, observed assumptions that's what the card says and just let it all like let the fog fade away let things settle and then <coughs> and then um you're able to like move and i guess that is really um maybe the message you want to move you want to take action but it's still like i miss something here i miss certain information here to know that you can call upon archangel uriel to uh, let you receive this information and we have the seas of mintica seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light this is beautiful again with bringing on uncon unconsciousness to light with the fog in the fog you can see the fog is like the unconscious uh, energy like so much is hidden um but you see the potential of a situation maybe if you are not seeing the whole picture you see potential in something and you are ready to bring it to the light and it's just a matter of time i feel like really divine timing for this thing whatever that might be so let's see okay we have number three the mother awakens compassion nurture guidance so that's funny that i said at the beginning feminine because <laughs> we have again like yesterday a very motherly energy coming through we have this card you have to look at this this is beautiful maybe this has already a message for you we have a rainbow we have water but oh my god now i've never ever seen this on this card look at this on this side you actually have kind of a masculine presence that is so funny i never saw that to know that you're not alone and there is like a doorway opening up here so a doorway to the heart because this card is all about the heart and with a page of water i feel like maybe it has to do with um something to do with the heart this could be love but because this could also be your dreams your aspirations um whatever it is that you feel in your heart that you want to take action on follow just follow your intuition because that's your heart so we have number seven and number three again a ten so yeah we have go out explore finding number seven again how cool is that with the chariot card go out explore finding we have a beautiful flower on here as well maybe a sign and go out explore i guess it's like with the weight card here it's very fascinating to me so i feel like you just have to follow your intuition to do that which you love to do and not really I guess not really think about it because with that you will receive new thoughts <laughs> that makes sense this was just a message i was getting but explore finding interesting finding so i guess with the fog here maybe you are trying to find something here but you are not yet finding it but it's really about exploring new options as well uh i heard new options in whatever that might be <laughs> and then we have wow 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 look at this diligence this card this card is perfect with the baby steps card that i talk about and we have some clouds i will read this one at the end uh this card is all about just keep going but i will read it at the end and then we have oh we also have work your light oracle deck we have awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being integration so a lot of you have gone through a freaking huge awakening and this card is all about that you are now like you are awakened to a new you to a new way of being to have new energy in this 
reading today so integration taking as well like there are still things that are being integrated with this fog and with the weight card i feel like still some things have to fall into place here but it's just up to you you can take some baby steps you don't have to take like freaking huge steps but we're going through major energy upgrades but i feel like with this card it's really about that you have gone through it so yeah You've probably <laughs> let go of a lot in the last couple of days. So we have Amethyst. Consciousness, protection, intuition, rebalancing. So as well, it's really about balance. Uh, to keep your balance. Oh my god, what is that? The most huge bird was flying there. But this is the third eye, of course, with Archangel Uriel of information, of receiving. We have psychic abilities here. So maybe you are a freaking... Um, psychic as well and <laughs> you are protected we have consciousness oh my god bringing on consciousness to light so very important to uh, as well really bring light to that was no longer serving and does not align with you anymore really follow your intuition even if it does not make sense at all <laughs> now we have security the root chakra so this could be in any way like i feel like in this reading a lot of different messages are coming true for a lot of different people some of you are really trying to create security some of you already have achieved a certain security uh within yourself and that then will manifest on the outside but if you're manifesting that you can't totally create um that would you feel secure with yeah <laughs> then we have stay optimistic about the situation so such a beautiful message stay optimistic about whatever situation you are maybe facing right now um as well with the page of water really use your creative mind um uh, your creativity see things in new ways because i feel like with explore here if you do something different in a different way all of a sudden this fish comes out of the cup and you didn't know like you did not expect this at all but it's actually a good surprise stay optimistic about the situation now we have oh my god we have number three 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 again coming true creative make use of this creative energy wow i'm shocked about that that's cool okay so make use of your creative energy even if you think you're not creative you are everyone is creative on this earth plane that's our nature our literally our soul is creation it is here to create a reality and you can make use of this creative energy that you have inside of you wow <laughs> oh my god i can't uh, so if you have been waiting for a yes, because this is so cool in this reading, uh, if you have been waiting for a yes, then this is your yes, moving in alignment, waves, so that's interesting, waves, it could be waves of energy, waves of the ocean, waves of whatever that might be, because we have here on this card, we have as well, so look at this card, maybe there's like a sign in there for you, it's like an ocean, we have a dolphin, We I don't know, even know what this is. But we have a cup, we have some fishes, we have some mountains, we have palm trees. Anything else? I see again an opening on this. So the clouds are opening up. That's really the fog energy. I feel like the clouds are, like the fog is slowly passing away. It's still here, but it's like... You're going into the right direction here. So just wait for a moment. And not wait in not taking action. I mean wait in like just allowing things to unfold. And then we have yes, this is alignment. So yes, this is it. So whatever you had on your mind, yes, this is it. But this is so cool. Like I love that. Okay. Then we have three cards from Instagram. So I'm so freaking excited to see what this is. Follow your highest excitement. Of course, that's really the chariot. It's like, it's or my highest excitement or not. Because that's the most important thing that will give you even more energy and uh, more uh, ideas. And really follow your highest excitement. Then we have the moon. 
moon interesting maybe a certain moon face um, maybe your moon sign as well interesting because we have the page of water here so this could be connected to pisces cancerians or uh scorpios and we have promise wow that is so cool this could be a promise to yourself a promise to someone else promise can you promise me and then i don't know what else would come behind that but promise maybe you made a promise with someone because with archangel uriel about information maybe you made a promise that's interesting to know that you can call upon the guidance of this archangel in Whatever things you have maybe said that you as well maybe did not wish you said. But everything is perfectly planned and as I said you can always start over. So you can call upon this archangel to maybe uh, reinvent. <laughs> That's what I heard. Reinvent some things. And then we have embrace the future. Step into the future with an open heart. Number 18. So that's a 9. Embrace the future. Step into the future with an open heart. Really this new energy. It's time to move into something. Whatever that is. And then we have the last card. 66. Trust. I'm going to read this one. So beautiful to end this with. And I'm also going to read the diligence card. Because I feel like that one is very important have trust that everything is going to be fine ask your angels for support or guidance if you need it uh let's see if we have any more uh, messages i feel like i can read number seven as well for some reason develop your spiritual knowledge and share your wisdom with others the angels are happy with what you are doing you are on the right path oh my god i'm shocked again yes um if you're watching this you're on the right path you are doing amazing keep going with what you're doing if you're still missing certain information call upon this archangel to help you out with this literally open it up on gateway so again the portal um energy here so that's so cool The diligence card this card right here i will read this card really this one is really sticking out to me again stay optimistic about the situation there are times in life to step forward and take risks but there are other times to be patient step carefully and slowly and know that the benefits you will gain in the future will be worth it be attentive meticulous and persistent use this time to plan for action steps in the future so i guess with the weight <clears throat> and the fog and archangel oriel this angel can really really help you out to see things in a new light with the bringing on consciousness to light this archangel can really help you out to see things in a new light and with that you maybe can take a uh, different kind of actions um because we have finding so again, maybe you're trying to find something with a page of water. Really just allow things to, allow information to come to you. Allow information to come to you. Because we have guidance here on the Mother Awakens. Um, awakening. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so we have two times awakening, but guidance. There is guidance for you. And I, it's interesting, this moon word. I don't know what that means, this moon. Maybe a certain moon face. What that might be, the chariot. I don't know what sign that is connected to. What astrology sign. Maybe in that moon phase. So, that would be certain information. Okay. My camera just cut me off there. I don't know where I was. Okay, I will just start over. This is not a time for instant gratification. Your diligence will pay off in the future tenfold. This is the time for deliberate organization. Clean house, clear clutter out of your life. Be thoughtful about how you spend your time and be discerning when choosing with whom you spend it. Clear out relationships that do not support you. So maybe with a promise, you made a promise to someone with you are like... No, but... <laughs> Who knows but as well that new people are coming in and if you make like if you let go of these uh, people that are like not really serving you anymore then you make room for new people 
but with this energy right here is security it's like maybe you're manifesting or creating security into your life or you're like you would love to create that and right now this archangel could help you out help you out with getting things into place getting things into a certain way of doing things and just a time of planning what i said with the fog energy it's like just sit with all your ideas explore just do something fun fun do something fun as well because with the page of water it's all about just having a little bit of fun it's, it's not all that serious because yeah this like this fish comes out of nowhere and creative make use of this creative energy so maybe allow yourself to just paint for like a moment and not to think about the outcome of things and what else to trust the process of where you're in um yeah the third eye will be really important with of course certain information discerning what people are beneficial in your life what situations what things you're doing what uh, habits whatever that might be but to know with the chariot here that you are creating an important achievement here but you have to keep uh, holding your discipline you have to keep going to stay persistent like the diligent card says um keep doing what you're doing um you will reap the rewards of that and i guess that was it for today for from the message from archangel uriel today i'm still with this moon word i would love to know what i could make up with this moon i guess the moon can be as well about hidden things secrets mysteries so i guess with the moon energy here it's still a little bit about wait i know what i can do it's going to be the last message i will read the moon card out of my deck here number 18 that's so cool literally we have number 18 on here as well the moon everyone experienced times in their lives when they are afraid or insecure sometimes these fears are based on external factors you can see and sometimes worries stem from irrational or unreal concerns in both cases it's important to go within and listen to your intuition as to what to do next so if you're really like the chariot is all about that it's like there are multiple options here what do you want to really go for and follow your highest excitement then we have in both cases, it's important to go within. Okay, yeah, that's what I said. Ask your inner self about the source of your anxiety and trust your guidance. The angels sent you this card because this is time of powerful intuition and psychic ability. However, your greatest insights will be about yourself. Interesting. Embrace this period of self-awareness to overcome past blocks that you've held that have held you back. Awaken two truths about yourself that you've kept hidden and see your brilliant light seeing potential bringing consciousness to light bring the unconscious like the shadows maybe you're hiding things in your shadows with the moon here um yeah i really like so cool i i'm shocked about the <laughs> the match of this card additional meanings of this card paying attention to your dreams unseen events that are affecting you interesting illusion so that's again a message as well that i learned yesterday we can create so many illusions about certain people that they are this way and that they think this way about us and that they are gonna judge us for this and this and this but it's all what we are doing to ourselves like these people are not doing that to us and even if they are doing it then that should not like make any difference in whatever we want to create what we want to create in our life we have archangel Henio as welcoming true uh has been associated with the full moon intuition and clairvoyance call upon Henio for help in developing trusting and following your spiritual gifts and divine guidance that is so cool okay so i guess that was the message for today um if it resonated let me know in the comments down below if you want to like if you want to subscribe that would be amazing thank you so much um i will see you all in the next video <laughs> thank you so much for watching bye you guys you have to see what i'm looking at right now i'm literally looking at a fog like it's crazy you have to see this a fog you cannot see what is 
I was there, like, he sounded really nice to you.